And the last thing I'd like to point out are a few unusual signals that we've picked up in the Schumann resonances. Here we're looking at a vertical electric field spectrogram as collected by the Space Observing System in Tomsk, Russia. They seem to have the best Schumann resonance data, uh, the highest resolution, and in general their location on the globe seems to pick up more of these abnormal signals than some of the other public data stations, but there's very few of them. Uh, one of the goals of my work is to build a public observatory network, not only in the USA, but across the globe. We hope to get there with time, but we see a very unusual kind of long duration energy change here. Notice with mode five, first off, the fact that it actually shows up at a fairly high amplitude. If I scroll over, you'll see our power legend here. And so blue and indigo are low power. You go up to like white, red, orange as higher power and green is kind of like moderate. So typically mode five shows up pretty weak because they apply a filter to 32 Hertz and above that just drops the gain by about 15 decibels or so. But here we see it actually shows up and we see this like curved pattern there going from about 5 a.m. local time UTC plus seven all the way to about 21, 2200 again UTC plus seven. And we see a bit of a reflection pattern here with mode three, which is around 20 Hertz. So this is the 20 Hertz zone, as you see there. And then we see this is around that 33 Hertz zone right there. So this is a very unusual pattern, but we see some other things too. Uh, they're just kind of odd. So they're worth mentioning. We see this right there. It's, I mean, I can try to zoom in on this. This is very bizarre. I don't really know what the heck this is, but you don't see things like that that often. That's weird. I just, I just, it's worth pointing out. I don't know what it is. It's a very high frequency as it relates to the normal Schumann resonances. That's right near 40 Hertz. That's like in the mode six range, would that be 39 Hertz? So that's kind of bizarre. Um, and then we also do see some activations across the other mode. So if you go back here, we see mode two had a bit of an activation, 14 Hertz, right before this unusual signature there. And if you're wondering what the heck this big blob is, which is really high power, according to that power legend, this is a local atmospheric effect because they had rain and thunder and lightning over Tomsk, Russia at this moment in time. So this is a very classic signature for like a thunderstorm passing overhead. And you can even see that spike there, right there. That would indicate that that was right when there was maybe lightning happening really close to the observation station. So that's a very classic signature for a thunderstorm. Uh, so we're looking at some of these other things which are not classic signatures for a thunderstorm. But there's two more. We see this very, very uh, brief but high intensity amplitude increase there across the spectrum, which is kind of bizarre. And we also see one here. And what's interesting about this one right there is that it doesn't bleed up to the lower frequencies or the higher frequencies. It's centered right in that range that's associated with pre-earthquake signals. So that's going from about 15 hertz to 35 hertz. So it's centered right in there. It's a pretty significant amplitude bump for mode four, which is around 25, 26 hertz, which is really the mode of the Schumann resonances that seems to pick up these pre-earthquake signals. So that's a little bizarre, but it is a very, very, very brief increase in that power. And we can't say exactly what that's connected to, but in general, the weirdest thing on here is certainly this pattern, I would say, but there are other things as well. This little uh, dot pattern there is kind of bizarre. And we even get like an unusual uh, energy signal there that almost looks like a whistler, which is when you get a lightning strike, it can create basically a whole bunch of particle flux up to the uh, radiation belt. So it can create this low frequency signature but it's not exactly that. So just in general, things are just looking a little weird with our background naturally resonant energy fields, the Schumann resonances, but nothing super, super definitive or obvious like, hey, we probably have something happening soon, but definitely things are just looking a little abnormal as it relates to the Schumann resonances.